Hello everyone, it's Dylan Nell from Macho Burger Productions. Um, we are here with another episode of the Mo- special edition of Macho Burger Show with the round two of the NCAA March Madness uh, tournament. I'm here to give my predictions on the second round. And because we're keeping score at home, on the first round I went, out of 32 games, I went 23 correct and 9 wrong so that is 23 out of 23 to 9 out of 32 games i think that's pretty decent um but i'm gonna go ahead and start with my predictions i'm gonna go ahead and start with the south side uh the first game we have is one seed kansas versus nine seed connecticut or yukon um both of these teams are very well matched I do know UConn got the upset against Colorado, and uh, that was a pretty decent, it was a pretty pretty great game, and, uh, but honestly on this one, I'm going to pick Kansas to go on to the Sweet 16, and the game, and the next game we have is 5 seed Maryland versus a 13 Hawaii, um, Hawaii did get the upset victory over California. Um, that's one of the nine I got wrong. One of the nine I got wrong. But um, I didn't. I honestly didn't see Hawaii coming at all. I didn't see that happening. But in this game, I'm gonna I'm gonna pick Maryland to go on to the next round. And then the next game we have is 11 seed Wichita, which surprisingly I got right. Going up against a third seed Miami. Now in this one, um, a lot of people are actually in are in favor of Wichita. When a lot of people, are, it's kind of half and half. I mean, honestly, I'm gonna go pick. I'm going to pick Wichita, and they're gonna pick up the upset victory here. And the next game we have is Iowa, 7th seed Iowa versus 2nd seed Villanova. Um, two uh, two teams that, are, that, that have done pretty well so far. Um, <clears throat> I'm honestly going to pick Villanova to go on to round two. And here are the my ones for the West. My predictions for the West side of the bracket. Um, we have one seed versus Oregon versus eight seed St. Joseph's. I'm going to, I'm going to pick Oregon to go on to the next round. And next game we have is, is a 12 seed Yale and a four seed Duke University. Um, I know in the video I said Balor would win. I thought they would. Um, but in my own personal bracket that I did for NCAA.com, I filled up my own personal bracket and I surprised myself by picking Yale. Um, honestly, I probably should have picked Yale in this, but I, I didn't, but they got the upset victory last time. I don't think they're going to get the upset on this one. So with that, I'm going to say Duke is going to be in the sweet 16. Next game we have is a... 11 seed Nor- Northern Iowa versus a third seed Texas A&M. North Iowa did get the upset victory up against a up against Texas. Um, from what was a pretty decent game, right right down to the ending as well. But with that, I want to say Texas is going on to the next round, which would be Sweet 16. And the last game we have on the West side, it's going to be uh, <laughs> it's going to be. 10 seed VCU versus a second or two seed Oklahoma. Now this game, it's gonna be probably pretty, probably pretty close right down right down to the end. Um, I don't really see VCU getting the upset. And with that, I'm gonna say Oklahoma is gonna take this one. I'm gonna say Oklahoma is going on to the Sweet 16. And um, I'm gonna go ahead and move on to the East side. And we have a one seed UNC versus a ninth seed Providence. Now, this game will definitely be probably, I think it's going to be 
close right down to the very last seconds of the game. Maybe, maybe overtime. This one might kick into overtime. Um, so part of me wants to say Providence, but I don't want to get it wrong. <laughs> I'm not saying Providence won't win. It's gonna be a good game. It's gonna be a good game until the very end of it. But I think we're going to see UNC go on to the next round. And uh, the next game after that, we have a five seed Indiana versus a four seed Kentucky. Now, originally, I had picked Chattanooga to go on to the next round. That didn't happen. If you saw the scores of that game, it definitely didn't happen. <laughs> um, but with that, uh, Indiana, they did fairly well in that game, but Kentucky, Kentucky's a tough team. I think this one will probably go into multiple. I don't know how many rounds of overtime they do. Probably until they go on to a, get a winner, but I'm gonna say it goes into like second, second round overtime maybe. Um, this game is gonna be good. It's gonna be a great game. This might be the game, the best game out of the second round. Um, I'm going to pick Kentucky to go on to the next round. Um, the next game we have is the six seed Notre Dame or Dom versus the 14th seed um, Stephen F. Austin or S.F. Austin. I'm picking Notre Dame to win this, even though even though S.F. Austin did surprise me with an upset with over Wisconsin. I mean, not Wisconsin, but uh, West Virginia. Sorry about that. I looked at the wrong looked at the wrong one there. I apologize. But, yeah, um, S.F. Austin did surprise me with their victory over West Virginia. That totally blew my mind. I was not expecting that. I don't think they'll get two upsets in a row. I really don't. But with that, I'm going to say uh, Notre Dame is going on to Sweet 16. And the next game we have is a seven seed Wisconsin versus a second seed Xavier. Now, I like Xavier's team. Uh, I do like it. They had a pretty good game today. They had a pretty good game, and so did Wisconsin. Um, surprisingly, I'm going to go with the upset here, and I'm going to say Wisconsin goes on to. They're going on to the Sweet 16. I'm going to move on. I'm going to move on. To, move on down to the Midwest. We have a first seeded Virginia versus a ninth seed uh, Butler. I like both teams' chances, but I honestly think Virginia will take will take the cake and go on to um, the Sweet 16. And the next game we have is a 12 seeded Little Rock versus a fourth seed um, Iowa State. <clears throat> Little Rock did surprise me with their victory, upset victory over. Purdue, that really did surprise me. It was a really good game uh, from what I saw of highlights, and Little Rock did surprise me. I don't think they'll pull it out two two in a row. Um, so, with, so with that, I want to say Iowa, Iowa State goes on to Sweet 16. And the next game we have is 11-seeded Gonzaga versus a 3-seeded Utah. I was reading up on Gonzaga today. And they have built they have built themselves up as the underdog team. Um, they almost did not make it into the bracket this year, um, which would have been the first time in a decade they were not in it if they did not make it in. But they made it in, and they pulled out an upset over Seton Hall. They have more experience in the tournament than Utah does. So I'm going to pick Gonzaga with the upset victory to go on to the Sweet 16. Now, the last game is a 10-seed Syracuse versus a 15-seed Middle Tennessee. Now, a lot of people, a lot of people's brackets were probably fucked after Michigan State lost to Middle Tennessee. Um, I filled out I filled out several brackets online. One of them was completely fucked after the Michigan Michigan game cuz uh, put them in the final 4. And I feel like in another one I had them to win for some reason. That one is sour cream and onions, man. That is just gone. Uh, with this game being a 10 seed Syracuse and a 15 seed Middle Tennessee, either way, either way, it's going to be surprising. I don't think 
I don't think Middle Tennessee will surprise people and go on to the Sweet 16. Um, it could happen, but I really don't think it will. So I think Syracuse will go on to the Sweet 16. And that concludes the the sec- my second round prediction. I will be keeping score again, and you can keep score at home as well. I know the last round I did pretty decent. I only got nine wrong, got 23 right. I apologize for not having any video. I apologize for this one just being solely audio. Next prediction video will be an actual video, not just audio. I just want to say thank you guys for for the support. Um, I want to say thank you guys so much for the support you've given for, you've given me and Jonathan Jacobs during this entire uh, Macho Madness. No pun intended. No pun intended there. Um, we will try to get other videos out pretty soon, other than this, but as far as I know, we're, uh, we're still in the works with March Madness, so these are my, these are, these are the predictions for round two, hope you guys stay tuned for the Sweet 16, and, um, please like, comment, and subscribe, um, I'll see you soon, and stay macho.